April 1953, a history-making article written by two young researchers is published in Nature. Watson and Crick will earn the Nobel Prize for discovering the structure of DNA. The double helix is published for the first time. DNA contains all the information our cells need to produce proteins, which in turn allow the biochemical processes that constitute life itself. What they guessed is that this genetic code was the same for all living things. Plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, everything. And that all life is basically the same. It was a major breakthrough which turned biology into a hard science. Salvador Dali, a man like his paintings, most unusual, very interesting. La only legitimate structure today is the molecular structure of desoxyribonucleic acid. He was very excited about DNA. He not only grasped the idea, but also realized how important it was. He pushed the message home. Ladies and gentlemen, this scientific discovery is immensely important. Según el famoso la escalera que ya en espiral de Crick y Watson, el ácido de succiribonucleico. I think Dali's passion for DNA had something to do with the fact that Watson and Crick were very good at selling their ideas. If we had to name the ten most important scientists of the 20th century, they would be among them. But Watson and Crick were also excellent communicators. They immediately wrote books. The Double Helix was not only fascinating, but also a good read. There was an element of public relations about the whole thing, something that scientists at the time did not engage in. But Watson and Crick were very good at it. I met Salvador Dali in uh, 1965. I had written a few chapters of my book, The uh, Double Helix. And I had seen Dowie's painting in Boston, Gala Galactosidonucleic Acid. A, a bank in Boston bought the painting, and I was, uh, it was in the newspapers. They bought the painting, and I went down and saw it. So I realized he had an interest in DNA. And I thought uh, he could illustrate my book. <laughs> so, uh, 